वेलकम बैक अगेन स्टूडेंट्स इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द चैप्टर टू दैट इज सेपरेशन टेक्निक्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मोर टेक्निक्स दैट आर यूज फॉर सेपरेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मिक्सचर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ द टेक्निक्स नाउ द टेक्निक फॉर विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज दैट इज वी आर गोइंग टू लुक वेदर द डाई इज मेड अप ऑफ अ सिंगल कलर और इट इज मेड अप ऑफ अ नंबर ऑफ कलर्स is the dye made up of a single color or a number of colors that is different colors number of colors means different colors for this there is a special technique which is known as chromatography and in this technique first we have to take a strip of filter paper on this strip we are going to mark a line on this strip we are to mark a line and here we are going to put a drop of the blue or the black ink on the center of this line and now we are going to transfer this strip to a jar this strip of filter paper is transferred to a jar and it is hanged in the jar with the help of a glass rod this is the glass rod we are going to hang it with the help of the glass rod and this is our line on which at the center of which we have put a dot or a drop of the blue or the black ink now we are going to pour some amount of water in the beaker so that the lower edge of the filter paper gets wetted up as and as this lower edge gets wetted up the particles of the water they start moving up this is the glass rod first let me label it up this is the glass rod this is the filter paper strip this is the drop of the ink then this is the glass jar this is water now what happens as soon as the lower uh, what to say corner or the lower edge of the filter paper gets dipped in water the particles of the water they start moving up gradually as in as the particles of the water moves up gradually and they reach up to this point that is towards the drop of the ink what happens they take up the particles of the ink with them those component parts of the uh, ink or the or the dye which are more soluble in water they are going to move faster along with the water and they are going to move ahead they are going to travel a longer time and those particles of water which are not soluble in water they are going to remain back that is they are going to uh, travel a uh, little slower and they are going to remain back means they are not going to distance they are not going to cover up larger distances so from this activity we can observe that the dye is uh, what was what to say it is a mixture of a number of colors not it is composed of a single color so here we have used a technique which is known as chromatography and this technique is used to separate the substances let me rub it first chromatography this word has come from the word chroma chroma means colors 
Now, this technique, since and since it was first utilized for separation of colors, and hence the name given to it was chromatography. Then, this technique is used to separate the solutes or the substances which are dissolved in the same solvent. Here different colors constitute the dye and this dye is uh, mixed up with water or it is dissolved in the water to make a solution of ink. So here we have separated different component parts or different component colors of the dye and this technique is known as chromatography technique. Now what are the applications? Applications of this technique number one it is used to separate dye from ink. Secondly, it is used to separate uh, pigments from natural colors. Plus, it is having wide varieties of uh, purposes or applications which are being utilized in various laboratories. So, this is all about the chromatographic technique and its application and the procedure of chromatography. Nowadays, chromatography has been modified in a number of ways, uh, uh, that is column chromatography and various other types of the chromatography. But since and since it is not in your course concerned, we are not going to talk about that. We are just going to stick up to what is uh, given in your NCRT book. Now, the next technique that we are going to study is... Distillation method. In our previous classes, uh, that is in the previous video, we have seen the uh, technique for separation of two immiscible liquids. Now, we are going to study the technique for separation of two miscible liquids. technique used for separation of two miscible liquids. Now what happens over here that is we are going to take a distillation apparatus or a distillation flask which is a round bottom flask and we are going to keep this flask on the wire walls and then this wire gauze is put on a tripod stand. Then we are going to put Bunsen burner underneath it and we are going to fit a thermometer in the distillation flask so as to note down the temperature of the boiling liquid. Now this is the stand, clamp stand. Now again this distillation apparatus it is connected through a condenser this is the condenser
in which cold water is present this is distillation flask so wire balls tripod stand burner this is thermometer this is the condenser this is the cold water and here is present a beaker now this is the setup which we are going to utilize for separation of two miscible liquid and the example of the two miscible liquid is acetone and water we see that acetone and water both of them are mixed up or they are miscible in one another with one another but they are having considerable uh, uh, differences in their boiling points so what happens over here we are going to put the mixture of acetone and water in the distillation flask mixture of acetone plus water and now we are going to put on the burner as soon as we are going to put on the burner what happens that it provides heat energy to the distillation flask as it is the temperature of the flask rises up the particles or the molecules of acetone they gain the heat energy or they gain up the kinetic energy they rise up over here and through the condenser while they are traveling this path this tube through the condenser here as you have seen that cold water is present all around then these vapors of acetone they are again converted into water as we know that in chapter first we have seen that vapors can be converted into liquid state by decreasing the temperature and increasing the pressure so here the temperature was increased so the acetone which was present in the liquid state got vaporized into the gaseous state and as it rise and as it was passing through the condenser what happened it uh, gained the cold from the surrounding area and the temperature was lowered down and again the vapors they were converted back into the liquid state and hence we can collect the acetone into the beaker and after certain time we will see that whole of the acetone is going to get converted into uh, uh, is going to get separated from water and only water will be left in the distillation flask after certain time so this is a technique which is known as distillation which is utilized for separation of two uh, miscible liquids which are having considerable uh, differences in the boiling point now there are uh, certain miscible uh, if two or uh, this is a technique which is used for separation of two miscible liquids but if more than two miscible liquids are present then what will happen in that very particular case the uh, the apparatus is having an addition that it is mixed up uh, sorry it is fitted up or it is having an additional unit of a fractional distillation apparatus and it is connected to the uh, condenser through the fractional distillation apparatus this is the only difference now if two or more than two miscible liquids are present then they can be separated up by this various uh, by this very method that is if two or more miscible liquids which are having differences in the boiling points by 25 kelvin that is their boiling points are having a difference of 25 kelvin then this fractional distillation uh apparatus or fractional distillation technique can be very well utilized for separation of different 
on what to say component parts of the mixture. Supposedly for air, if we want to separate uh, uh, different gases from the air, we can very well use it. Or if we want to separate liquids, uh, different type of the liquids having the considerable differences in their uh, what to say uh, boiling points, then we can very well use the fractional distillation process. Now, in the next chapter, we are going to study how can we separate different gases from the mixture of air.